Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Nomad's Land. I have filled up with milk. There is still actually about, I think, about 1,400 litres of milk left in there. Uh, the good thing is, I'll just put in cruise control for a moment, the cows have started producing milk and reproducing as well. So that's great. I transferred everything across and I also dumped all the grass in, collected all of the straw and sold it. So we're in a good place. We do need to pay the loan today, so that is what I'm going to do. But first, obviously, we've got to sell the milk. But we don't need to. Um, it's not like the milk is what's going to give us 5,000. The milk is just in addition. And I do love seeing how much we make. There we go, 6680. So let's quickly pay our loan repayment for the day. Nice. And uh, I'm going to go and grab the remainder. And then we can crack on with the canola harvesting. So we're going to get about 2,800 from this, I think. 2,935, even better. Uh, okay, so I need to drop this off so that we can obviously start with the harvesting. One other thing. I did spread manure on here, I used all the manure and also bought a very small amount extra, so that field is now first stage fertilised, all over, which means he's ready to be cultivated, but we can leave him, we can leave him for today, there's no rush, the longer the manure soaks in, the better it's going to act. So we'll just, we'll leave it and not worry about it for now. Let's see how well I can back this in now that I'm on camera. Ooh, you know what? That was not bad. I thought I'd make a much worse job of that. Okay, so, drop him off. Let's grab the trailer. I'm going to need to buy a spade or a broom or something so I can clear that up. Uh, so the trailer, I'm not actually going to be attached to it, I don't think. I'm going to leave it somewhere. Well, I might have to be attached to it, actually. Yeah, we will. We'll stay attached. So I don't know where he's going to be needed, we'll just leave him here for now, and this is the guy that we do need, our lovely, lovely harvester, pick up the header, don't know why it's on the floor, and yeah, well, let's get started on this straight away. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with this, I think it's far too big for both a time lapse and a jump cut one of those kind of awkward length jobs that if I just jump cut the whole thing this episode will be nothing. If I time lapse it, god it's going to be boring. It's going to be boring for me to actually make the time lapse and it's going to be boring for you to watch it. It would be, even if I sped it up, I reckon it would be about 8 minutes long to do this whole field in time lapse. And that's too much. Of course I could actually uh, cut some of it out of the time lapse but yeah you, you get the point it's gonna be too long so I think we'll just do this and it's looking much much better by here now it's the area where we mowed all of the um, what they called mowed all the bushes and chopped down the trees and it, it does look better now it gives us much more space to turn at the top of the field of how quickly we're filling at the moment. It says we're getting around about three tons per hectare. I think this field is four hectares, I think. There is a way for me to toggle the worked area. I do not remember what it is. But yeah, we're filling up nicely. And it's a decent sized field, so we're gonna get a decent amount of canola from here. The canola is not needed by anyone though. The cows don't need it, pigs don't use it, I don't think. We don't have, have any yet anyway. Uh, we don't just store it for chickens or anything like that. So we will just sell it. And of course we've got the straw as well, and the straw is worth almost as much, if not more, than the actual canola seed. Which is incredible. So we'll 
should should be making a decent amount from this. The one thing I do need to keep an eye on though is the time. I don't want time progressing too fast. It seemed to be a little bit too slow at the start, which is why I turned it up to times 15. Now I feel like it's a bit too fast. Sorry, it's a bit too slow to start with, is what I meant. I'm rambling already. I'm only seven and a half minutes into recording. But we've just hit 50%. Of course, we've got that grass field as well, which will need cutting, but not just yet. And I did also check the classifiers to see what we had in there. Nothing that interesting, to be honest. Not just yet. Well, at least there wasn't when I first started up the game before I pressed the record. We'll have a check in a minute when, we, when we're emptying and see if there's anything interesting in there. The problem is, we can't buy anything substantial because we need a bigger tractor for that. <coughs> and we're not going to have... we not. We're not going to have a bigger tractor until we've sold all of this canola seed and canola straw the classifieds update every hour. So I kind of don't want to look because if there's something good and I want it and then later it's gone, I'll be very disappointed. So I feel like it would be better to just not look. The harvester is now full and parked over here. So we're going to go and get him emptied in. It's, um, it's going well. First, I think this is the first time we've done this large field. Well, you know, since I turned it into one field, that is. Ooh, currently on sale, Lizard Ripper Cultivator. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Okay, forget that then. So, I did say I wasn't going to do this, but let's do it. So, we've got this guy, 110 horsepower. He's not, not that useful. Oh, a nice starver, 180, but well out of our price range, I think. The John Deere skid loader from Black Sheep Modding. Mm, don't think we really need it. And that's it. And what about tools? Uh, so that is for planting sugarcane, right? Yeah, sugarcane. Uh, big trailer. Okay, cultivator. Manure spreader, but that's a massive manure spreader. And we are actually doing slurry, so we don't really need that anyway. Okay, so we are 35% full from that. I guess I should just carry on, get some more headlands done, and then maybe we'll jump into a time lapse after that. So that's four headlands done. And this trailer is 93% full, so I don't see the point in waiting to, for another 7%. It just seems like a waste. May as well just get up here and uh, get it sold. See exactly what sort of money we're looking at. I think we'll get another trailer. I'm, I don't want to be too optimistic and say we're going to get you know, another two trailers. If we do, it would be a bonus. I'm, I'm pretty certain that we'll get one more trailer. So how much is one trailer worth? That's the big question here. A decent amount. This is looking good. Okay, 6,000 for one trailer. That's not bad at all. So we should be looking at another full trailer. Maybe more after. I don't know. And then, of course, we've got all the straw to collect as well, which we're not going to be able to get all of that done in this episode. It's just far too much. But we'll be able to collect some of it, I'm sure. Uh, right, I guess, as we're now going to switch on to up and down and a time lapse, I should leave him here. How much have we done percentage-wise? So... Okay, we've done about a third by the looks of it. So that's, that's quite good then. And how is our grass just while we're in here? It is bright orange. It is ready to go. Alright, so we're not getting any benefit from leaving the grass there. That's good to know as well. And the cows. 1,300 litres of slurry. Almost 1,000 litres of milk. 
They're doing pretty well. We do need to stick some more silage in there, though. Luckily, I've got barrels. Barrels? No, not barrels. The other one's over there. Right, time to stop waffling and let's get on with the time lapse. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring at the pavement. God knows who hurt. You might have noticed that we are getting very, very low on fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy over and get him refilled, or refueled even. Uh, he is pretty much full, so we'll empty what we've got into the trailer. But I will do it when I'm actually up there, just because that way we can kind of do two jobs at once. Harvester's refueling and we're just going to get all of this put into here and we'll sell it. It's not going to be a full trailer, once again, but it's not going to be far off, I don't think. 95%, that's pretty good. 3.178 tons. So yeah, we'll get this emptied. The rest of the field, I'm going to do it off screen. We've got enough... Um, enough canola done on the screen now I think 
So I'll finish it all off off screen, and when I come back, we can do a little bit of straw. But first, let's get this sold and see how our balance is doing. Considering we paid our 5,000 uh, euro loan payment today, we're actually doing very, very well. 6,056. The problem is, we now have nothing to harvest for a couple of days. So, yeah. Right, see you in a minute when the field is harvested. The field is done and this is what we have left, just under 1.5 tonnes. So we'll get that sold. There we go, very nice. So just shy of 38,000. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll grab our lovely loading wagon. We are definitely going to need a new one very soon. It's um, it's getting to be a little bit too much. The amount that we have to collect is quite large. Even the grass, if we're doing grass or hay or whatever and we're not making bales, there's, there's a lot. It just takes a very long time with this loading wagon. So, we will head down to the bottom because I want to take the edges off. Otherwise, what happens is we kind of get tripped up while we're trying to pick things. There we go. And we've got canola straw. Woohoo! Now, I don't know how long it's going to take to fill up. I've got a suspicion it won't be that long at all. Especially because these piles are quite big. But we shall see. Now, I want to know exactly how much we're going to get per load, which is why we're kind of doing this live action rather than me jumping immediately to a time lapse or anything. Well, in fact, I'll probably do a jump cut because I had to split the recording in two, and I know that um, from the previous session of recording, it was about 17 and a half minutes of final video. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit too much I believe for um, another time lapse. We've got a fairly long one in there already actually. And we are almost full. Yes. So getting ourselves a bigger loading wagon is definitely something on the urgent list but of course we need a bigger tractor because otherwise our tractor might struggle to pull it a little bit but we're full so let's see what we can get for one load 1.8 tons oh and I've got to pick that up when I took the harvester up to be refueled he decided to drop some straw along the way and of course that's not what I really wanted, but there we go. Eight hundred and seventy one, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll carry on and get small picked up. I am still cracking on, but I just don't ask me why, I just decided to have a quick look in the classifiers to see if there was anything we could spend all of this lovely money on. And I noticed there is something very, very useful. Something I've been complaining about this episode and also some of the others. There is a loading wagon available. It has more than double the capacity we have. So, And it's only 27,000. We can pull it as well, so I'm going to buy this gonna buy the used one there we go and then we will give this guy a quick clean and return him and that's just gonna make life easier because the trips to and from the sell point just really eat up the time because this tractor is not that fast so it's better if I can make less trips 
So we'll sell this, uh, give him a quick repair for 24, there we go, and sell him. So we're getting back 1800. So we have spent a big chunk of our money there. But now we can pick up this straw so, so much quicker. And this is probably going to last us until the end of the series. I can't see us needing anything bigger than this, to be honest. It is big, but it's not so big that it's oversized. We should still be able to pull this without any major issues. And I really hope so. I haven't tested it before buying it, but I don't, yeah, I don't think we're going to have any dramas here. So, I'm going to continue. I'm just going to time lapse this a little bit so we can see exactly how quickly we fill up. Well, that's a drastic improvement. Previously, we were carrying 1.8 tons of canola straw in each load, uh, so we were doing about two thirds of a headland. This time, 5.175, so that is almost triple the amount of straw. So that means we're obviously going to get paid more as well when I empty this. And it's got a faster working width, I didn't realise that. So it's got a working, working faster working width. It's got a faster working speed. It goes at 20 kilometers an hour, whereas the other one was only 12. So this is just this is going to make life easier because it's now quicker, and quicker is better, specifically for making videos. all well and good having nice old equipment but if anybody has watched uh, Dagoin's uh, Vintage Survival you'll know it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to be able to do the stuff he's doing with the small old equipment so having new stuff is much much easier so I'm actually gonna finish the episode here even though the straw is still in the field I'm going to keep working until 6 o'clock, and then whatever's left on the field we will have to do next time. But, for now, I'm going to say thank you very much, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.